Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you uh, how to install the Moose framework uh, on Ubuntu 22, uh, Jemmy Jellyfish. And even though the installation is quite easy, I'm showing you step by step how to do. Uh, the Moose framework is an open source parallel finite element framework. Can be used for any type of multiphysics simulation and it contains a lot of uh, ready modules um, for all the type of physics and it can be run in parallel uh, with a lot of CPU. Uh, so the installation on Ubuntu is, is uh, documented in the getting started, installing Moose, and then you have to click on Linux and Mac OS. Okay. And here there are an installation step by step, but I'm gonna show you how I normally install it. So first of all, you open a, a shell, okay? And you start from this command, so the Mamba Forge 3. Mamba Forge 3 is a package manager that will install all the packages uh, that are needed for Moose and create the environment. So you copy this command and you paste them in the in the terminal. And this first part is usually very quick. Uh, it's just going to take some time to download uh, the packages and to extract them. Okay. Okay, it should take only a few seconds. Uh, and then you need to export to the path the, um, the Mamba Forge folder. So you will see uh, that in your home directory you, you have uh, a Mamba Forge 3 folder, okay, um, which has been created. And then you export this, this path, okay. Then you need to uh, configure Conda for working with INL public channel. This one is just really, um, it takes a second because it's just about linking the, uh, the Mamba Forge with the, with the INL channel. Okay. And then a Mamba init. Uh, okay. This one is for initializing the, um, the environment. Okay. And then you, you, you can see uh, this one, it, it says uh, for changes to take effect, you need to close and reopen the, the shell. Okay, so you need to do so. So exit, and then I open a new shell. And you will see when you open a new shell, you have uh, something called the base here. So it means now you are in the base uh, conda environment, uh, which is uh, the, the one where you now you will install the packages that are needed for, for Moose. Okay. And uh, this one is, is uh, these packages are called the Moose tools and Moose libmesh. Libmesh is the software on which Moose is built on and uh, it contains all the functionality for the finite element. Uh, this step may, may take uh, a bit of time depending on download speed and depending on your, on your machine, but basically this one is, downloaded the, the, is downloading the pre-compiled libmesh. Okay. You will see first a download step and then it's gonna, uh, uh, it's gonna ask you if you're fine installing the, the packages. Yeah, it says, uh, you see, all, these are all the packages that are going to be installed, and it says uh, confirm changes, and you uh, type yes and enter, okay? And this is installing everything, so you see there is download and install. Uh, if your download speed is, is quick, then uh, you will have it done in maybe one minute or so. And then after extracting, it's going to start installing all these, all these packages. Okay. This part where there is a preparing a transaction, verifying transaction is the one that is going to take maybe a minute or two. 
but after that this this step is is done uh, and then you have after the installation you have to activate the environment but th this one uh, so if you execute this one in the in the terminal it's going to activate the environment but it's a good idea as the node says to actually report uh, write this in the in the uh, basher c okay because then it's going to be activated every time uh, you open you open the terminal okay so what I do now is to actually uh, edit my uh, Basher C using Vim, and you will see if you, if you go at the end of your Basher C, uh, there will be uh, a part related to Conda. Okay, there is Conda setup, and this one has been installed by by the Conda installation, and then you can uh, write here Mamba activate Mus. Okay, so it must be written after the Conda initialize. Uh, block. Okay, so I'm saving this file now, and uh, and uh, now that is in my Basher C. Whenever I open the shell again, uh, I will see the Moose environment. So I exit now, and I open the shell again, and you see when you open it, there is Moose here. So it means uh, uh, you are in an environment in which the packages like libmesh that you installed before are loaded. Okay. So at this point, you are ready to actually download and compile uh, the code. So you continue the, in the instruction. In my case, I already have a directory called the project. So I just enter my project directory. And then uh, I do the git clone. Okay. So you git clone moose. Okay. This one is going to take a while because it's quite, uh, it's quite a lot of code. And then you will need to uh, enter the directory and, and check out uh, the master branch, which is the stable one. Okay. So here, as you will see, it's more than one gigabyte of, of object. So um, it's taking a while. Okay, so at this point I enter the moose folder, okay? Uh, and you will see that uh, the moose folder is constituted mainly by the framework and the modules, and we'll see later how to uh, compile both the, the framework and the modules. And at this point I, I do git checkout master, and this one is gonna uh, uh, track the master branch, okay? So if you wanna uh, update later, you can update from the, uh, the master branch, okay? Um, so at, at this stage, you can uh, compile it. So to compile it, you go in the test folder and you make. Okay. Yeah. And then you can see in the test folder, there is a file called the make file, which is the one that is used for compiling. And now you can make with the processor that you have in your computer. Okay. In my computer, there are eight, eight processor. So I do make minus J8. Okay. And it, it, this part is the, is the one that takes longer. Okay, it will take a while because it has to compile. Uh, depending on the speed of your computer, it may take uh, only 10 minutes or one hour, depending on the processor you use. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video here uh, and, and uh, uh, continue when, when this process is finished. Okay. So now the compile process has, has finished and you, you can see that there are all these line uh, called compiling C++ uh, and then at the end you will see the, the linking library and linking executable and you can see that there is one executable created called Moose Test OPT uh, this is going to be green in Ubuntu saying that it's, a, it's an executable okay uh, and uh, at this point you uh, can follow what the website says and run the test. The test uh, um, are just to check that uh, the installation went well and you can put minus J8 because I have 8 processor. 
so if you run this one it will take a while again but you will see all the tests and if you see OK next to the test um, then it means uh, the installation has been uh, has been successful okay So I'm going to stop this part here because this part will take a while. As you see, there are a lot of tests and uh, it will take uh, maybe 10 minutes to half an hour, okay? And then next I will show how to compile the modules. Okay, so the tests have been finished in, and uh, you, you can see here the log says how many how many tests are passed and how many are skipped. The ones that are skipped are normally because they are heavy. So they are it's just normal that they get skipped. So this one basically has uh, completed the installation and check of the framework. Uh, however, uh, you may want to uh, install also the modules. So you see Moose has uh, a folder called the modules which contain a lot of uh, code which is related to mechanics, for instance, fluid and, and uh, uh, phase field and peridynamic. There are so many different uh, modules depending on the physics you are solving for. And uh, if you want to compile the module, you, you need to uh, do it separately because the, f the framework is just the basic code uh, while the modules are in the uh, module folder. If you go in the module folder, you can see that there is a specific make file. So I'm going to run make minus J8 also inside the module folder. Okay. So in this case, after doing this, basically all the Moose code will be uh, compiled as well. Okay, and you can use all the code that is present in the module and all the test. Uh, so I'm going to compile this now, and this one is going to take even longer than compiling the framework. So I'm going to uh, stop the video because uh, this is going to take maybe almost one hour on, on my system. And that's it. After doing this, basically the the installation is uh, is finished. Okay. So as you can see again, this this compile went went uh, well. Uh, you will see the line compiling C++ and then linking the library and linking the executable. And again, you can see uh, that um, the each each module will have its own its own executable. Uh, there is the make file, so for instance if you go to um, tensor mechanics you can see there is another make file so at this point you can for instance inside the tensor mechanic you can you can make and because this is already compiled um, uh, then it's gonna um, it's gonna create an executable which is specific for the for the tensor mechanic module you can see like tensor mechanics OPT and that's it then there is another run test if you want to uh, run the test uh, for all the modules this one is going to take uh, quite long but overall um, the, these are the um, these are the steps to, to install Moose and then if you want to use it uh, you can either uh, use the executable uh, which is in the test folder the one you compiled before so this one or if you are using a specific module, you go into the module and you can use this executable to, to run the simulation. Okay. And uh, um, uh, that's all. Uh, most generally, what, what has been installed is the Moose folder. And then if you go back to your home directory, uh, you will see there is a, a folder called the Conda, which is the, uh, the one where you have, you have your... Uh, information of the conda environment uh, there should be a um, conda rc which is executed when you open conda <coughs> and then there is a uh, 
there is the Mamba Forge folder. So this, this is all that has been installed. If you want to remove Moose, there, there are uh, instructions for uh, uh, removing Moose on the website. Uh, but overall, these are the things that have been installed, so you can just cancel them. And that's all. These are, uh, these are the instructions. It's pretty easy. And then you can create this executable and you can use them for the simulation. Um, and in, the, in, the, in another video, I will show how to make your own code and, and install the so-called Moose app. But for the moment, this is the installation. And based on this, you can use existing uh, code and test file in Moose. So if you, if you want to see all the test file, uh, you go to the Moose folder. And there is going to be a test, tests folder. And these, these are all the tests uh, that show that they can be used as example as well. Each module has its own, uh, his own test folder. So if you go to the tensor mechanic, uh, there's going to be a test, test. And again, you, you can see all the example here. Okay. And they are, the names are pretty self-explanatory. So I hope you appreciated this video and uh, have a good day.